aircraft carriers, now a staple of America's Navy. But how did they come to be? Well, one early idea came during the Civil War, where the Union Army used the USS George to launch a reconnaissance hot air balloon, but it wasn't until the start of the 20th century that any real advances were made. One of the first ships that carried a plane was the HS WMS Drastigatin in 1901. Built by the Swedish, it was equipped with a crane to lower seaplanes into the water, but did not have the capabilities to launch an aircraft. That would come on November 14, 1910, when the USS Birmingham launched the first plane from a ship accomplished by pilot Eugene Ely. Shortly after, on January 18, 1911, the first deck landing was accomplished on the USS Pennsylvania, also by Eugene Ely. Ely sadly passed away later that year, but was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross by Congress. While the Americans were developing their aircraft carriers further, there was a raging battle in Europe, World War I. On October 31, 1914, the first sinking of a carrier took place. A German U-boat sank the British HMS Hermes. This prompted the British to retaliate with their also newly developed weapon. December 25, 1914, was the first use of attacks from an aircraft carrier. The British launched planes to air raid the Germans. Nothing had been seen like it before. It was an absolute game changer. It allowed the aircraft a much larger range as they did not have to travel as far as they did before. As the technology advanced and the war still raged, the first launch of an aircraft from an aircraft carrier underway by means of a catapult was accomplished on November 5, 1915. This allowed the aircraft to take off with an even shorter runway as they were boosted forward. After World War I ended and the world had seen what aircraft carriers were capable of, the world realized the potential and started building fleets of their own, but a recent treaty agreement after World War I limited their capabilities. Despite this, the US broke the rules. At this time, the world seemed to be at peace for the most part, but as we all know, on September 1st, 1939, World War II started with the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany. By World War II, there were many advances in the area of aircraft carriers. Between wars, planes developed more as well as the carriers. Advances included increased efficiency in the amount of aircraft a carrier could hold by creating hinged wings that could fold up to store when not in use, allowing much more deck space to become available. They had created a hook system where the aircraft would latch onto the deck to slow it quicker. Aircraft carriers also were built more durably with more steel rather than wood they liberally used before. The U.S. stayed out of World War II until the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, destroying 188 American aircraft and about a dozen ships. Thankfully, the U.S. had a total of 27 aircraft carriers by the end of the war in 1945. The U.S. had a much stronger carrier presence than any other country in the war. Japan had a total of 20, Britain 11, and Nazi Germany a mere 1. But not only did the American carriers outnumber the others, they also had superior deck space, with the largest being the USS Midway, which could hold 130 aircraft. By this time, all restrictions placed on ships were lapsed, so that there was no longer any restriction on the size of ships. The American fleet was extremely large and powerful, but it is widely considered that the British ships were of the highest quality. The ships survived much of what they were put through, from bombings to kamikazes and fires. The British Navy seemed to surpass it all. This is because the British ships had better constructed decks that could withstand bombing better. It also allowed all the ships in the hangars below to operate normally, even while being bombed, while the Japanese and American fleets had weaker decks that often collapsed. When the war finally ended on September 2, 1945, the Allies' navies proved to last and reign supreme. America's 19 total carriers, up to 1,123 feet long, and packed with the latest technology, carry the legacy of American aircraft carriers that still last to today.